So hi, my name is George and I'm going to talk to you um, about sex differences in cardiovascular disease risk and how this relates to an autoimmune disease called juvenile onset systemic lupus erythematosus um, or JSLE. Now 15 to 20% of all lupus patients have juvenile onset disease and is characterised by a systemic autoimmune response um, which has the downstream production of autoantibodies which can deposit into various different organs and cause irreversible damage due to inflammation. Um, importantly, it's a female dominant disease of 4.5 to 1, which is really quite striking. And there's an increased risk of cardiovascular disease in patients through atherosclerosis. Um, now, fats are transported around the blood in lipoproteins. And to put this simply, you essentially have this bad fat transport and good fat transport. Um, and with the bad fat transport, the liver fluxes these fats to very low intermediate and low density lipoproteins which can deposit fats into the arterial wall and the peripheral immune cells. Um, you also have this good fat transport via HDL, whereby the uh, peripheral cells can efflux fats to the HDL back to the liver for excretion from the body. Now we had a cohort of young, healthy controls and also JSLE patients, and we compared sex differences, um, firstly in the healthy controls. So here displayed um, in the bottom left, you have on the x-axis a fold change from males. So anything on the left is associated with males, anything on the right associated with females. And what we found is that there's a real difference in their fat profile. So the females have a lot more of this good fat transport, the HDL, and males have a lot more of the bad fat transport, the VLDL. Now these, pe these people are very young, they're kind of teenagers and, and young adults. So even at an early age, you have this increased atherosclerotic risk, um, which is quite striking. But um, what we found really interesting was that when we compared males and females within the disease setting, we completely lost all of these differences. Um, and we think this is due to inflammation and particularly due to hormones. So we think the hormones control this fat metabolism and the difference between males and females. And then there's a breakdown um, in this hormone signaling and therefore the, um, normalizes the lipoprotein metabolism and causes um, the disease and the increased cardiovascular disease risk. Um, thank you very much.